Usually when you get a new ball, they're usually kind of slick. Um, so I usually like to get some kind of sweat or something, a little moisture or something rubbing the ball just to get a little bit of, of I call it stick, just a little bit. So um, every time there's a new ball switched out or something like that, I like to do something like rub it up just a little bit with something. But there's sometimes you'll fill ball and it feels really good in your hand and you just want to keep it. We order 80 cases, which is 10 dozen per case, so 800 dozen balls, and they're all hand rubbed. Every ball has to be rubbed before it goes out on the field. And we use a special mud out of New Jersey. It used to be the Mississippi mud, now it's Jersey mud. So you're looking at 800 dozen a year that we're rubbing. And most of the time, if we, we don't have enough. We may order 10, 10 or 12 more boxes by the end of the year like a day with it raining, as soon as that ball hits the grass, it's out. And if it hits the ground, the umpires usually throw it out. So we may go through, instead of eight or nine, 10 dozen, we may go through 12 or 13 dozen. If you got a pitcher that throws a lot of strikes and not a lot of hits, they're not using as many balls. We have to keep the balls in here two weeks approximately before we can even touch them. You can actually tell the difference the umpires are saying because it, they were so hard before and it feels like a little bit softer. That means the ball's not traveling as far. If you saw some of the home runs a couple years back before we had it, there were some bombs hit here this year. There's not. You know, a couple balls that we've thought that have been you know, crushed or whatnot, either getting ran down at the warning track or just off the wall. So I mean, you can tell a little bit, but it's, it hasn't been a huge change. The Angels are glad we have it because it helps their pitchers. <laughs> Doesn't help the hitters that much.